why haven't I been uploading? That is the question. Well, today's the day. We are getting back on line and I have a lot of stuff coming. So I figured I'd make that turn real quick, but we're back in action, man. This is probably the longest I've gone without uploading a video. I know it's like a week or less, but the longest time maybe in history of my vlogging or maybe just at least since 2019, but probably like 2017. Who knows? It's been a long time. So why were we gone? We were actually filming Guggen Week with the Guggen Squad, and I'm just a one-man operation out here. I should have had some videos lined up and in the backlog, but I did not. So it seemed like every day was just sun up to sundown filming nonstop, and I was not able to upload videos. But with that being said, we have an awesome new lake we just hit that we're going to showcase on today's video. We didn't have the greatest days. Fishing has been slow. It was my wife, Devin, mother-in-law, Andrea, and we got on a hot bite. Not really, but anyways, guys. But we did get a bite, and the video is actually pretty informational, so stick around to see us pit this new lake, and then also stay tuned for maybe tomorrow's vid, but either way, the next video. It's one of the videos I'm most excited about having ever put out on the channel, and it's absolutely over the top. It's something a little different for you guys. I think you're going to enjoy it, so hit the notification bell for that. But without further ado, let's roll today's footage, and by the way, we're rocking some new Guggen Squad merch. If you guys want to check out the entire new lineup, you can also use the code down in the description to get them at a discount discount. Uh, in fact, anything Guggen related. So just check that link down in the description and let's go ahead and roll today's footage. This is a Waterloo Giant, guys. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We are currently decking out the hot tamale with rod and reels. Today we're going to be trying to fish a new lake up by Oklahoma. You guys know we're in like the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We kind of used a combination of the Fish Brain app, Google Maps, and Texas Parks and Wildlife information to find a new spot to fish today. We're a little tangled up over here. We're gonna kind of showcase the process of how we found this spot though today, and then try and get on some fish. Should be a bunch of fun. Devin is behind the camera. Her mom is actually in town. It's Thanksgiving week, y'all. So it's gonna be the three of us out on the boat. Let's get everything rigged up. Always takes longer than you'd hope when you wanna get to fishing. We didn't get necessarily an early start, it's like 12 noon or something. And I think there's like a 10 pound uh, record at this lake that we're going to. Small little place. I'll tell you exactly the acreage and all the details when we get there. We're just loading up. Let's go ahead and uh, hop in the truck and head towards Oklahoma. We found out about this, I'm gonna tell you more on the boat, but uh, nice concrete ramp to be honest, just a little narrow. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing in the water and then uh, show you what we're gonna start off with, trying to pick apart this new body of water we've never been to. Just taking off all the straps, motor support real quick, trim this up, and uh, yeah, the plug. Y'all know we left that out the other day anyways. All right, y'all, Devin's about to drop us in. Yay. What's up, Devin? Andrea, Hola. in town from California. Let's get this thing in the water. Keep it straight, you're turning it. More, more, more. Yeah, that's good. All right, bring it on back like that, yeah. Awesome. Go ahead. It's real shallow. <laughs> Goes way out. There could be rock. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, it says it's pretty shallow. Yeah, yeah. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, y'all, so what I'm thinking is we go straight across to all the trees over there, the tree line, and get started with some moving baits. Clarity's not 100, so I'm thinking a chatter bait or a spinner bait or a crank bait, cover some water, see what happens. All right, y'all, so Waterloo Lake. We found this place uh, kind of through Texas Parks and Wildlife. I was looking at different lakes and the community fishing uh, spots that you can find on here, and then I kind of like cross-referenced it with Google Maps. I did the satellite view. I kind of made sure it had a boat ramp. I also got on the Fish Brain app to make sure people were catching bass, and uh, it showed some good-sized bass, but not only that, it also showed that there was a boat ramp kind of confirmed it's a small 52 acre lake but very scenic it's literally got like some rock cliffs right behind us it's where we're going to start off and i'm sure people are just mainly bringing the kayaks out here john boats but 
We brought the big rig. We figured we'd just be nice and cozy, have some fun, troll around the place. Today's conditions are definitely telling me to throw a spinner bait. Windy, not too much clouds, but anytime there's wind and I can't see very well in the water, I'm thinking a lot of flash, slow moving, kind of creeping around. Probably something like a shad color just to pop and stand out. But what I wanted to tell you guys is the lake record here is 10.40 pounds, like a 10 and a half pounder out of this small little lake right here. So there's a potential for a double digit uh, in most lakes in Texas, to be quite honest, and almost all of them. But uh, yeah, don't be shocked if if we get something over five in today's video, we're gonna see if we can identify just what they want and even just get on the first fish of the day. So let's go ahead and rig up a few baits and get started. Wow, this is so much more shallow than I expected with a straight drop off. I bet you there's a drop off over here though. All right, y'all, we're starting off in about five feet of water, fairly shallow, so I'm going to just go ahead and start off with the clickbait, the Guggen's new bladed jig available now. Carl's Bait and Tackle, Guggen Squad app or website, a couple places to buy. We found some locally at Dick's Sporting Goods. And this has got the flash from the blade as well as a lot of vibration from that and the beads. And so this can bring those fish in from a further distance whenever they're not relying just on sight and uh, visibility to come after those natural looking baits. I'm oftentimes throwing something bright that pops in these more stained waters. We've got a saucy swimmer on the back as the trailer and we're going to see if we can't make something happen on this. Otherwise we'll just keep on switching up till we identify what they want. Oh wow, look at this drop off. Okay. Oh, some fishies. All right, I'm jumping back here. Watch this, y'all. I got a Texas rig. Weedless. You put that uh, hook inside of the bait there. Little quarter ounce weight. I'm going to pop this right in and around this brush. This, this tells us there's some bass. Anytime there's some cover like this, there's got to be some fish hanging around. I bet you there's a bunch of bluegill by this little tree. And uh, the predators should be hanging around too. So I just tossed on the lunker log, Texas rigged. Working it over those branches. See if we can't get something. Andrea's tossing the uh, saucy swimmer with an underspin right in there too. This is definitely a Texas riggy type of spot. Jig, some bottom baits through here. Only other thing I could suggest is maybe like a craw or a creature bait. I'm throwing a Sanko right now, but got a lot of potential for a craw or a creature bait and something like that right there. That is exactly what you want. Caught? You'll be fine here, let me see. Can we back it up? No, no, no. no. Oh, shoot. It's what? pulling. I'm, I don't want to break the cord. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Here, hold on to that for a second. Oh, Should be fine. It. I caught some. I think you'll be fine. It's the tree. Maybe. There it is. You didn't break it? No. Nah. Seriously? Oh, don't think so. <laughs> you got the bait on there still? Yeah. Everything's good? Well, I like the spot. It's going to be windy when we uh, go around this corner. Might be good for the bite, might be bad. Mixing things up as we move to this point with a little breeze, y'all. We're seeing if that makes a difference. Some uh, some current I'm tossing in the... <laughs> Andrea's, Andrea's flinging baits back there. I'm tossing the Texas rig where it's applicable. I tossed the drop shot over there where it was just more of a, a hard bottom. Devin is throwing a, a, a dark sleeper. Y'all can probably hardly hear because of the breeze now. And there we go with the T-Rig right in the trees. We're going to end up working around this thing. And uh, seeing where they're at, we're going to go Okeechobee Craw. Natural green on top, flashy blue flake on the bottom. Gonna do a quick Texas rig presentation, y'all. Just get the uh, little end of the hook through your bait, pop it out, slide it up the bait, hit a 180 when you get to the top of the hook right there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is check where that hook is gonna line up in the bait properly. That way your bait's not scrunched like this or even stretched too far and kind of getting pulled down off that ledge of the hook. So I need to poke through this crack and crawl right about here, right about next to those eyes. So this hook stays nice and flush. So I'm gonna pop that hook right up there. You can see that's perfect, but the hook is exposed so you can get caught on a lot of that stuff on the bottom. You don't want that hook exposed. So what we do is we pinch that plastic, pull it forwards a little bit, slide it into the body. Now you're not gonna get hung up near as much when you're working through the thick cover that these bass like to hang out in. And that is how you rig the Texas rig. Uh, I have a fish. You got a fish? I have a fish. Nice. <laughs> First one off water loop. That'll do. Guys, this is the exact reason we came out and tried a whole new lake. Right here. I totally beat Weston and my mom to the punch with this Mondo right here. Oh my goodness. This is a Waterloo giant, guys. Got his first little battle wound. Getting him back in the water. 
and got him on that sexy shad looking three to six foot diving crankbait mini recon right along the bank uh wasn't really filling the bottom so i just switched up to this so let's go ahead and keep moving our way down and seeing if we can't link up with a little bit of a bigger fish Well, y'all, there you have it. We just got the boat out of the water. You win some, you lose some. All in all, I'd say today was a win, though. Devin got the only fish in the boat, but we did not get skunked. Fishing a new lake, always a ton of fun when you can get out and not. We are only out here about two hours. Got to see the sights. The place was pretty sick. I definitely would say we'll be back here on the kayaks in the future. Let us know if you want to see us fish Waterloo. Again, it might be in your neck of the woods. You might be able to tell us what baits to throw here. And that was that. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get the boat loaded up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. <gasps>